Hello, my beautiful warriors of love and light, and welcome to this weekly reading from April 11th to the 17th. As I spoke in Instagram, if you're coming from there, I talk a lot about what is the most significant that's happening this week, and it's April 12th. It's the Jupiter-Neptune alignment in Pisces. This is a celestial alignment. The last time it happened was in 1856. The next time it's going to happen is in 2188. So I think we're going to live until much further than that. So well, maybe some of us will see it again soon. But in this moment in, light, in your lifetime, Jep Jupiter and Neptune meeting up in uh, Pisces. It's like we've left the age of Pisces behind and we're moving into, into the age of Aquarius. We are in the rising of the age of Aquarius. But it's like... Um, we're reaching a zero point, neutrality. So um, Jupiter is uh, Zeus is ruled by Zeus. Uh, Neptune is ruled by Poseidon. Uh, Zeus is uh, the father of lightning, and Poseidon is the father of water, right? The underworld. So it's very um, poetic in the sense, like um, Jupiter. Uh, lightning water and when what lightning hits water we have hurricanes we have tornadoes um, I've always spoke about April being very energetic when it comes to uh, nature mother nature is rising why is she rising because of what we have been putting out to her all the um, sadness the anger the rage the hostility all the any, all the low vibrational frequencies that we've been holding on to and putting out there. Um, I, 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 I believe I said this last week, but I'm going to say this again. But it's like um, if you, if the human is releasing their anger, uh, where are they releasing it? Like if we all believe that everything is energy, then the anger is releasing itself into nature, right? Into the plants, the trees, the animals. Who is nature? Is our other land, our other body, which is Mother Nature. So she needs to release it too, right? It's not only us just releasing our anger and us releasing our judgment and us releasing our sadness and our guilt and all the all these emotions that we feel. She needs to release it too, right? Because if we are all one consciousness, then she is part of our consciousness. So she needs to release it. And how does she release it? Like I've said before. She releases it with um, flooding, uh, like earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes, wars, uh, how, what have you, right? So this is um, Jupiter and Pisces coming together. It's like Jupiter is um, above lightning, water is below, above, below is reaching the surface. We are merging. So uh, Jupiter is all about expansiveness. It's all about um, wisdom. Wisdom. What is wisdom? Like wisdom is like a soul wisdom. Wisdom comes from the soul. Doesn't come. Knowledge comes from what you learn out there. Wisdom is inner. Pisces is spiritual enlightenment. It's all about our dreams, dreaming big, envisioning. It's also about illusion, delusion. So coming, this coming together, right? Lightning, water, as above, so below. Light, shadow side. That's how we see it, right? We see the down below. We always see down below is so dark. It's hell. It's whatever. Down below is Mother Nature. Um, down below, like third dimension we are in, first dimension is the heart of of mother nature mother nature is ascending into the third dimension the fifth dimension is already here we just don't see it with our eyes because we we're not there yet we're still dealing with our emotions and our feelings and our um we're still looping in these like um these distortions we're still here so but it's okay like Nobody is like, um, like, like I said, we're all one consciousness. So even if you think that 
Uh, someone is sleeping and someone is awake. We're all the same. We're all feeding off into each other. When you uh, spew out uh, gossip or anger or hate, well, you're not only spewing it out to your, it's not only coming from you, it's, com it's going into the collective, right? So this is the April 12th. This is like alignment that's happening in this merging of like um, surfaces, if you will, like the above, the below, and the surface coming to surface. It's like what's in your shadow side is all that judgment you have of yourself, all those fears that you have of yourself, um, all those um, beliefs that you hold on to that's going to come to the surface. If that is does not match your vibrational frequency, then you're going to feel it even more. So it depends on where you are as far as that. But that is whatever. It doesn't like, again, it's not like, oh, I'm higher vibe than you. Who could? No. We're all going to feel it. We're all in this distortion. We're all living in this world that's inverted. So we're all going to feel it. But the veil on the April 12th is, is, is going to disappear. And the illusion is going to show and show itself. And we're going to feel all the feels. We're going to feel everything that we have uh, judged about ourselves or however, whatever it is that you um, are struggling with or the challenges. If you have challenges in love and relationships, it's going to come out even more. But it's something that we need to do. We need to like filter through all of this. We cannot keep this going. And it's like something I've been talking about a lot is like, by us living in the past, ruminating in this past energy, we want, we're want we holding on to a past energy for I don't know what reason, we're holding on to a history or, or our, our exes or our, even like, you know, our people who have died in our past or we hold on to the grief, we hold on to the sadness, we hold on to these things. It's okay to think about it and say, well, I remember laughing with her, it was great, but that's it. Instead of like holding on to the, oh, mm. and then this carries into your present. Not only does it carry into present, it carries into the collective. And then we all fucking go in the loop again. So it's like this constant battle. Like we're always doing this. We're always going back and forth and back and forth instead of just putting it to bed and saying, okay, like, like, I'm going to give you an example. It's very, very personal to me, and not a lot of people know this about me. My sister passed away five years ago. And um, a few days ago, she, we had her fifth year anniversary, whatever that means. And friends reached out to me, and, and I was very nice, and I honored them for, like, honoring my sister. It was beautiful. But at the same time, I'm, I, didn't gr I wasn't grieving her because I know she's here with me. We cannot, uh, the, she, she was in that old energy and in the new energy, she's with me. She's always with me. I ask her for her hand, she gives me her hand. I ask her for advice, she comes into my dreams and she gives me advice. I laugh with her in my dreams. And I believe, me, Sabrina, believe that I will see her again because that is where we're heading into. So it's like, if I held on to her uh, uh, departure and like in, in like in grief and sadness and uh, victimhood, then I would just keep doing the loop again, and it would never and it would I would bring it out into the collective and everyone else would feel it. So that's why this Jupiter and Pisces alignment, the Jupiter and Neptune alignment, is really important because it's all like it's the merging of how our feelings of present and past of. Uh, of past and future like bringing it all into the present moment into the heart moment into like trusting yourself trusting your soul and knowing that your soul is uh, forever right your soul is eternal this we know so your soul knows your soul knows what it needs this alignment coming together is uh, like it's like um, a merging of um, all of it, and we're, we're we're getting going to zero point, to neutrality, where the past is the past and it's going to stay there, and the future is unknown, right? The future is unwritten, and we're here. The 
future is written because we are coming from a future thing but we have the power to change that and that's what we're doing right now we're changing it so even if you don't believe in that and you don't want to think about it all that because that's a bigger concept to think about living in the present is the most beautiful thing you can do for yourself because you do not carry anything from the past you don't carry in the what ifs and the what I could do you just think of right now and that's what this alignment is also bringing is you bringing you to this so you holding on to a storyline of something and holding on to old storylines and you're still playing in the polarity right the old world is like the old world like 3d is staying here forever like this is it we're here it's not we're not we're not never leaving the 3d the 5d is merging it's, it's like on top it's coming merging with the 3d as like the 1d is coming right 1d 5d is coming on top whatever that means i don't know like physically if you have to think about it but it's like this um we're in this like limbo kind of right now but we're not anymore april 12th is going to bring it all together so there's going to be like heightened uh, intuition and heightened knowledge or wisdom. I don't even like to say knowledge anymore because knowledge is something I learned at school. Wisdom is something I know in my heart and it's time to learn that. It's time to really start to trust in that. You. You know and it, you, as, you, as you go along in this journey, you, you're going to understand more and more and more and you might change your narratives and you might change your storylines because of it like me I've been changing my storyline like exponentially because I'm 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 clicking in finally into like me into what it is I'm doing here and why we're here so all of us have to do that right because we each are in our own simulation we all have to do that so and and we're all here to help you through it but we don't I think that like I really believe we don't really need each other because when we start to click in, we're going to be like, okay, it's just like that. And it's just, everything is just going to click in, right? And the communities are going to click in. And it's not going to be like this spiritual community and this new age community and this like uh, sleepers a community. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be one freaking community, all of us working together, regardless of what you believe in, whatever. And it's not even going to matter anymore because where we're heading is not about that, not about labels and identi identity not about ego which is that label identity it's like moving into an expansiveness a Jupiter Jupiter is expansive it's like discovery discovering things about yourself that you never knew and 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 being open to what's unknown out there just like relying on your gut relying on your instinct that is always what we have, have had as like our forte and our strength and we've never done it. We've always suppressed it because we like created this world of like knowledge is important. This is what is it? This is a fact. This is a this. Check. Da, da, da. No man. <laughs> what is important is in, inside of us. Which is Pisces. Spiritual intuition. So this, that beautiful alignment is happening in April all the way into May and then we get into eclipse season which is another energy altogether it's like a d uncovering of illusions perhaps or what have you so this is just a beautiful and um, enjoy these energies that are showing up because um, if you're open to it you're going to start to um, heighten a lot of your inner wisdom is going to come out start listening i'm hearing a lot of things a lot of um there's a just a lot happening around me but i'm sure everybody else is because even if you're uh don't even believe anything i'm saying if you start to quiet your mind and start to listen in, you're going to start hearing seeing feeling whatever smelling all the five senses but we're opening up to 355 senses so imagine so that's <laughs> another video so um this is what i want to talk about today and i just feel like april is an april 27th venus 
is going to be in alignment with Jupiter and Venus is all about love. So there's just a lot of harmony and love that's going to show up in April. It, it, it's going to be like uh, where we haven't seen it for two years. It's going to be a blast of love and bliss coming up and, and it's like enjoy it and revel in it. There's also, it's so energetic April that if you want to stay home and like cocoon yourself, then go for it. Do what feels right in you right don't have to listen to me either don't have to listen to everybody else everyone's like you have to socialize you have to do this you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do do what's inside you that is how I'm living my life it's like I'm done I'm just going with what's in me so it's a beautiful thing once you start to trust it and when you start to trust your soul oh my god like so much you you like you wouldn't even imagine like that what steps you're going to take or where you're going to move to or like who you're going to bring into your life it's miraculous and this is where we're going and we're going um it's not going to be all uh rainbows and unicorns until 2033 but we're going to go through some really rough times but if you're aware then you are um, able to walk through these timelines and able to walk through this because you'll know how to navigate through them. All right, so I'm going to talk a lot more about these things in the next few weeks. Um, I'll just leave you with this now and thank you for listening. Um, I, if you ever have any qu comments or questions, leave them below. And um, that's it for now. I will see you in your readings. And um, I truly love each and every one of you. And I appreciate you for listening to what I have to say. I'm trying to speak less. Um, I'm not sure how I want to approach this. Because I, I know that information is like... It's heavy, and it, I, I, research, I, I did so much information in the past two years, like researching, and it's just useless right now. So it's like, I don't want to give you too much information either. So I'm trying to uh, wane it out a bit, but I'm just giving you, like, this is like a, a astrological event. So I talked about this and a little bit of what's going on in my life, I guess. But you take it, you leave it it doesn't matter it's like how you feel and how it resonates with you so i love you all the same and i will see you in your readings bye hello my beautiful aries so this week we got owl spirit you see clearly now so um i feel like perhaps what's happening april 12th if you listen to my intro it's a lot of this alignment that's happening is actually helping us see clearly now but maybe there's there's things in your life that you're seeing um, with less judgment, with less um, opinion, right? You're like seeing things um, more intuitively, more uh, from your your soul kind of thing. It's like what I talked about in the intro as well. So it's a very beautiful, I feel like some of you, like we've been going through a bit of a, like a rough time, Aries with every other sign as well, so not you only, but like things have been a bit rocky for you and now you're seeing things in a different light. You're seeing it like a different perspective. That's the best thing I can say here and I like this for you because now it just feels more light, it feels less heavy, there's less burden on you. So let's just see what is going on. This week, I, I was compelled to pick from three different uh, decks. So let's see what's here. We have Justice, which is a Libra card. So that could have something to do with um, contract negotiations or balance in a relationship. Libra is usually about family, friends, or even partnerships. Um, let's see. Queen of Wands is Aries. So you're showing up in your reading. There's a female here. Hmm. Okay. Hanged woman, which is the hanged man in reverse. So hanged man is like an energy of um, 
sitting back and assessing the situation, but in reverse, kind of feeling stuck about it. The Ace of Coins, which is the Ace of Pentacles, so something new starting in a business, something with money, maybe a new lease on life, a new financial opportunity showing your way. Maybe because of justice, maybe some of you have gone to court and now money is coming to you and you've been waiting a long time and you've been very impatient about it. Could be that. Then we have Mountain, which is clarity. I didn't notice that, that's amazing. Owl, clarity. And pressure, which is transformation. This could feel like a death card. Scorpio card. Um, this this could feel like an ace of um, swords, clarity. So there's this feeling of, I feel like some of you have had a little bit of a, um, with the justice here showing up, um, maybe you are having issues with the business partners or uh, financial um, situations or like romance again, like just a, there's been the hiccup that we've been following for the past few weeks now, and it's here, it's showing up here. But the fact that you come in, the Queen of Aries, the Queen of Aries, the Queen of Wands shows up, means that you are um, either like fixing the situation, you're overcoming it, you're uh, the winner in this situation. Um, it feels like um, good to me. It could be like there's a female in your life that is like a mother or a, a grandmother, or an aunt, or a best friend, or a partner, or whatever. That um, is either leaving you or helping you here. The only reason I say leaving is because I see a, a new, a new something, a new path opening up for you. So it could be you're divorcing someone. It could be that you're separating from someone, or breaking up with someone. Or it could also be that you're uniting with someone. Someone's helping you. You're you're finding your way through this, even though it, it could like the justice at this in this uh, the justice is all about balance as well, but. I don't know, for me right now, it feels like there's uh, like a, something that like irked you, some, like a hiccup in your life. And the having the hang woman being reversed, it's like you've been waiting, waiting, waiting for like change to happen. And um, you've been very impatient. You've been like almost angry about it, hostile about it. And the Queen of Wands could be that energy too. You know, she's very, um, impulsive she's very uh, strong-minded but then the ace of coins which shows up it's like you're being rewarded for something here like something happened uh, like a fallout in a business a fallout or some or like a financial situation in your life or um, That affected you deeply and and um, you're coming out the victor you're coming out the winner in this you're coming out like um, and I like that her back is to us that means that you're like keeping it behind you and you're moving forward you're not like looking back anymore it's done now you see clearly right you're seeing things for what they are you are seeing people for who they are and you're like okay I, this is how I need to deal with it. I need to move on. Because we get the, the clarity with the mountain, but the mountain is like you had to climb that mountain to get to clarity, right? You had to like um, overcome a burden. And the, the transformation, the pressure, pressure, like it's almost like, uh, I, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling as a whole, I see I see that you... Um, being weighed down by something like I said whatever it's a financial burden a job uh, like having to look for a job having to or losing a job or uh, like a relationship that was just not going anywhere kind of that situation 
but now everything is just like opening up for you Aries so I don't know what the situation is for you but you're um, keep that behind you and like move forward because it, it's like um, and I almost feel like you had to go through this this is one of your karmic lessons or something you needed to go through because you needed to um, better see what it is that was holding you back now you're seeing it you're seeing you're understanding it you're you put that mirror in front of you have understood that this was blocking me from my next step because I was judging myself because I was uh, living in like sadness because I was hating on myself or because I was like you know it's there's this feeling of you uh, uh, doubting yourself you know you you didn't um, you weren't being that queen of wands but now you are now you're seeing it clearly and you're like okay I'm, I'm taking this next step this is what's uh, being called out to me the mountain always speaks to me of um, you know like when you climb that mountain it's arduous and it's like tiresome and it's it's a it's it also brings up a lot of emotions and feelings when you're climbing you know you get angry at the mountain you're really angry at yourself and then you get to the top and you're like wow <laughs> I see heaven I see like I see the potential I see the opportunities in front of me and I'm ready for change so that's what's happening for you right now Aries this week which is beautiful and the, and the owl is showing up like listen to your intuition start going into your heart start listening to your higher self like it's time to step away from the linear way of thinking and going moving into a, an expansive way of thinking well so I wanted to take I was called to take a message from this deck which is the spirit messages so a final message for Aries please nature comes a calling this is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer your mind body and soul need nourishment energy revitalization and strength nature has much to offer to take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors I mean this is like a bit like the um, idea of the mountain I guess so some maybe some of you have had to like um, climb this mountain but maybe it was the place where you found the clarity and it, it not literal it's not literally the mountain I was talking about but maybe right now they're saying go out in nature and if you've listened to my intros before then you know that we are one with nature so nature is you and if you can um, if you're feeling that victory and that clarity then if you go into nature then you can give that to her as well to mother nature and you can receive it back right you can absorb it even more and it, things will become even more clear nature is um, going through a little bit of her own arising and she's going to get like a little bit upset and she's getting more and more upset this, for the next few months but it's okay doesn't mean that your park is gonna get flooded right so go out there and enjoy the green enjoy put your feet in the water if you can uh, earthing is just so important like putting your feet onto grass real grass and like just putting like, like really deep into that so you have like earth to souls and you could be amazed at how many um, answers you can even get if you ask them out loud all right my beautiful Aries so go out into nature uh, whatever this is that you've been waiting for for a decision to be made or something it's like releasing from you and you're moving into a new path it's not it, it didn't come it came with some pressure it came with some um, labor on your part and um, enjoy and revel in it I love you Aries and I will see you next week check your rising and your moon if you need other messages and that's it I have a good one bye hello my beautiful Taurus so we got wombat spirit be at home six plus eight is 14 it's five five is about extremes so very interesting wombat spirit be at home it feels to me that it's time to come home to your knowing 
time to come home to your trusting of who you are. Maybe it also could be literal and you need to stay home and not go traveling. And like I've said in, I don't know who I said it in, obviously I said it in Aries, or no, I said it in my intro maybe. But I, I said that it's probably, April is probably not the best time to go traveling because of, um, just because of the energy energies that are out there. But again, you make your own choices in your life. But be at home feels like perhaps things are, are working out at home for you. You're coming, you're, there's a uh, cohesiveness that's coming to you. But I really feel like it's something more about you, like finding, um, like falling in love with yourself again, falling in love with your body, with your soul, with everything about you. And, um, you know, when I look at this wombat, you know, um, animals don't ever judge themselves. <laughs> they don't judge the friends. They don't judge other people. They don't judge themselves. We need to be more like the wombat in that sense, or just animals in, in general. They trust their instincts. You know, they work on their survival instinct. They trust on their instincts. And we have a tendency to get influenced by others around us saying things, da, 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 or feel or whatever is going on on TikTok and this talk, whatever, and not really listening into ourselves and following our own inner guidance and our own inner star. So that's the message here. This week I was like compelled to take from three decks so let's see what's going on for you we have the moon which is a pisces energy but the moon always speaks of hidden hidden like inner feelings with this thing like maybe um or heightened intuition but let's see what's going on with everything else that's coming in judgment speaking of judgment wow man <laughs> okay right there is very emotional here this is pisces scorpio Death, Scorpio again shows up. So I don't know if there's Scorpio in your life. And the Magician. Wow, look at that. You have four major arcanas right there. This is Gemini Virgo. I'm not even sure when I open this, but yeah. Rain. It's interesting because she has like a seven in her... Um, dress but the number is eight mm, interesting. and we have a outer core fluidity which is water again water 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 we have a lot of water oh look you don't even see anything here sorry all right so uh a lot of emotions happening for you i mean water again is death the scorpio scorpio is so you guys have one air here and everything else is water <laughs> like I've said so when when we speak of water which is happening on April 12th with Neptune right the alignment of Jupiter and Neptune is water uh, it's emotions it's feelings so it's like hiding holding back and not expressing yourself the moon card speaks of that all the time judgment shows up judgment is usually like the um, The awakening period of in a, in a uh, in a spiritual life, I guess, an enlightenment that you like. Oh, you finally see something. You finally see. But in this case, I'm taking it literally with the judgment here. I feel like some of you are um, hiding or holding back from expressing yourself, from being at home with yourself. You are heavily judging your body, your mind your soul you're heavily maybe judging other people too in the like because it's easier to judge others than to ourselves there's just this feeling of you holding on to a lot of negativity holding on to it's not even negativity it's just you're holding on to um i feel like you're afraid you're free to make a next step whether it's outside of your home or your next step
and you just keep judging yourself for being where you are. Instead of actually looking where you are and saying, okay, because you know what? I was talking to a friend of mine about this. It's like, we don't know. Um, we put so much pressure on ourselves to be the best wife, girlfriend, partner, friend, uh, mother, father, whatever. You put all this pressure, child, you know, whatever. We can go on and on, on student, da, 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 worker. We just put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be the best, the best. And we really need to like just trust in the process. Not, uh, those are not things that we need to be achieving towards. We just need to be good with ourselves. You're holding on to a lot of your, um, you know, death shows up here, death to ego, death to like the judgment, death to this, like you're, you're uh, carrying a lot of uh, old or past beliefs or current belief systems. You're just carrying a lot with you and it's like, you need to say goodbye to that, Taurus. You need to set yourself free and come back home to who you are, to the magician that you are. You have the capacity to manifest anything you want, but you can't manifest anything. You know, I always talk about manifestations are real, but no one can manifest anything they want if they're in this self-doubt, if they're uh, always uh, uh, worried, if they're always like... um, scared of the next step or they're you know like manifestations goes to those who are um empty in their minds and they're not thinking about the past they're not thinking about the future and they're not thinking about oh my god how am i gonna make this money it's not gonna come to you if you're thinking about money 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 all the time never if you're worried about money about paying off your credit card let's say a debt and then you're asking why i am abundant bullshit uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not saying I'm saying it for this. So, you're you're going to be um, as above, so below. If you listen to me in the uh, intro, it's going to surface. If you say something and it's not really matching your vibrational frequency, then it's going to come to you like tenfold, right? It's going to come to you're going to have to face it more and more. So there's this feeling here, my beautiful Taurus. I didn't expect this reading to go this way because we see rain here. Rain is a lot of water, right? Rain, maybe rain is wash away these like heavy energies around you. Maybe some of you need to cry it out. You need to like, uh, April showers, bring me flowers. (laughs) Like, I just feel like maybe April showers to you is like a bit deeper. I feel like some of you, you're holding on too tight here, my beautiful Taurus. And you got four major arcana, which is four major life lessons. And yeah, I feel like you're holding on to uh, a past, a year old, you're holding on to what was, and it was happy at one point, 10 years ago. And it was like, I was, I really liked my job five years ago I really um, loved her or him a year like you know like you're you're looking at the you're not really going inside and change and it it's like change is here for you and it, it needs to like you need to roll with the punches and take this like a uh, magic wand in your hand and like um, create like we are the co-creators of our own reality. So it's time to co-create your reality. It's 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 in your hands to do this, Taurus. Uh, stop giving your power away to other people, to others, to uh, concepts, to situations. Like, stop giving your power away because you can do anything that you want. You have the power to do it. And that the moment that you don't believe it is the moment that you, you, can, you can't manifest it. Uh, like I've said to many, I, I start trusting in my present moment, just trusting in my soul, 
and I just follow what my soul says. It's very interesting. It's very like um, different than what I do normally, but it's very freeing. It's like coming back home to who I am. And the outer core feels like um, fluidity. I'm gonna read it actually, because I've never really gotten this card before. The fluidity of the outer core is necessary to life and being flexible and fluid in your thinking and ideas makes the life flow full. Resisting change by holding old rigid ideas and beliefs benefits no one and stunts your growth. Being open to new ideas and feeling confident to transform old ones, especially if you are given more information, is the way to navigate change. I don't really like the information part, but this is really kind of cool because this is death, this is transformation, it's change. So the fluidity, it's like, um, for me it's more like um, open yourself up to uh, let things go. The rain and the fluidity, like it's like, let those emotions flow out of you. Let those tears flow. Let the anger, let it go. Don't don't suppress the anger and the um, the hate and the triggers. Like I keep saying, triggers are our best friends. Trigger is not the enemy. The trigger coming up is like, look at it and say, oh my God, why am I triggering? What is it? Put the mirror up, do the reflection work and say, why am I triggering? Is it, why am I angry at this person? I'm really angry at myself for not doing what I need to do in my life. I, I feel like you're there right now, my beautiful Taurus. I know that it's like, um, you want to have like rainbows and unicorns every week, but I can't do that. So this is a big one for you. I really find that I feel like you're like at this precipice in your life. You're at this point in your life where you're having to make a decision and you keep like burying it, like holding it back with this moon card. You keep like judging yourself for it. You're, um, you're being asked always like um, say goodbye to it and you find yourself always in the same pathway always in the same p part in the path like place in the path and then it's time the rain comes in it's like it's time to wash that away so I don't know what area of your life this is but um, I like this coming home it means like just trust start trusting yourself my beautiful Taurus trust your soul I'm going to say this to everyone, but your soul knows, right? Your soul has lived this lifetime already. We are our future selves coming in, rectifying an annihilation process that we did in the future future. So now we're back and we're fixing things. So listen to it. It really knows. Quiet your mind and listen. Best advice I can give you if you want to take it. I'm going to give you one last message from the Spirit Messages. For beautiful Taurus, what they need to know, please. Wow. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, people cleanse cleanse like the rain your body mind and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing just as you wash your car clean the house or tidy your office your body also needs care and attention it's time for some spiritual emotional physical cleansing look at the water <laughs> like there is something here happening for you you're actually the moon it's all this emotion that are built up inside you. Uh, take some time off, go to a spa, uh, just go into nature or do a juice cleanse, a detox, whatever it is, but there is some stuck energy inside you and it just needs to go. All right, so I'm gonna see all you ladies or men at the spa, <laughs> all right. I love you, Taurus, and I will see you next week. Check your rising and your moon for other messages and have a beautiful week and do the work the work is so important right now as as 
these alignments come in and these eclipses are coming in next month we're all uh, we're all being asked to uh, release all these hang-ups that we have because we are beautiful souls i love you i'll see you next week bye hello my beautiful gemini we got what what the cow spirit the miracles are endless i love this so much for you you yay because it's like we've been having such a hard time these past few weeks and i see this beautiful cow with its flowers the bountiful i just feel like whatever is you've been working on whatever like uh, the dealings any negotiations any like um blockages or obstacles that you've been like having to deal with i feel like they're just freeing up for you something's coming to fruition for you something is blooming like something you've planted these seeds and they weren't really working out and now it's coming um it's working out for you which is freaking awesome right <laughs> so i love this card so let's see what's going on here we got the five of wands what's the, <laughs> the five of wands this is the past the five of wands energy is like a bit of like a struggle could be in love it could be it doesn't have to be in love it's just hearts here but it doesn't have to be it's a tattoo thing so that's why there's hearts probably but okay let's see the tower you never disappoint me gemini the five of swords gemini what's going on okay the hierophant Okay. Fury, bushfires, and joy, music. <laughs> okay, what a strange reading. But right away, like the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Tower, there's definitely shit going down in your life right now because there's no it, there's no if and what about about it because it's right here in the cards. Five of Swords energy is like lying, betrayal, like someone around you is deceiving you or even you might be doing that. You're hiding something from someone. There's a Five of Wands here is like competition, could be competition within a business, but also could be like, um, definitely feels like a struggle, like a personal, a financial, a business. And the tower is a tower. The tower is like chaos. It's divorce, separation. It's like um what's going on outside job loss job it's like there's just like um a problem with communication a disconnect there's a lot going on with you my beautiful gemini here i'm so excited about this cow thing but it's okay because when i see the hierophant card hierophant is usually a, um the in the original rider weight it uh, i'm italian <laughs> the original rider weight it's like uh, the bishop card so this could be a marriage issue or a partnership issue obviously not every single gemini here is married in a relationship uh like or a very good friendship but very something that's tied with a contract right that could be that or a business or a taurus a taurus is here so is the Scorpio here. Um, but here again, we have fury, bushfires, a lot of... Um, what is going on with you, Gemini? There's a lot of fire inside you. There's a lot of anger. Um, you're... Um, I feel like you're, you have already erupted or you are about to erupt and you just can't take it anymore. You're done. And yet we have the miracles, which is kind of, and then we have this joy music card showing up here. And it's like, these are the only cards that are like um, optimistic. Well, I mean, I'm not saying these are not, these are, I, these are always, I always welcome these cards here because it actually is descriptive of what is going on. You're, there's something happening in your life right now, apparently that you need to pay attention to. There's like, uh, maybe you've been getting nudges too about it and you have been avoiding them. But this is like all like, um, this is inner work that's like, or inner turmoil that you've been uh, struggling with for a, a long time. 
this fury here speaks to me of that this like like you wanting to erupt and you haven't you have you've been holding on holding on keeping in your mind in your mind in your mind because you're so good at that and you've been like or you've been ignoring it you've been just like pushing aside and just like partying with your friends or doing things whatever just like um masking it almost the hierophant speaks of a higher learning like a higher knowledge right higher wisdom it's like you know i feel like you know what to do and you keep avoiding it you keep avoiding there's a certain situation in your life that you're um, still not facing up to you're skirting around it you're navigating around it you're like a, but then you're feeling like this right you're feeling very um hot tempered um moody you go up and down you go up and down and yet these beautiful cars show up and the joy music and it's like maybe you need to change it up in your mind how how can you change this up in your mind can you maybe like go to music festivals go to see some bands listen to like frequency music listen to calming music dance however it is that you need to uh, release this this um, these conflicts because there's a very there's a big disconnect here with someone or even with yourself like you're even hating on yourself and and it almost feels like there's miracles around you like the miracles are endless so there's like you, you want to manifest something you want to like um bring something in you can't you're having a hard time bringing that in because you're not seeing you're not um oh wait a minute okay one second please joy music could also feel like you're like I, I, I think I said this previously, that you're in this situation and you're just like going out and you're socializing, you're dancing, you're having fun with your friends, and that, cause, but you're avoiding the situation. And this is not going to be the solution to that. Uh, the only way, like the, the way I see this as a card of the solution is to like calm your mind quiet your mind listen to frequency music listen to whatever kind of music it is that calms you but you are in a very interesting process you're in a very situation so you're still in that same situation or whatever maybe it's a new one but if you keep ignoring it gemini it, it's coming back it keeps coming back and coming back and like i said i've always said you need we need everything surfacing right now it's april 12th all of it will surface regardless if you believe it or not it's going to surface and you're going to be faced with this and it's going to be like harder and harder for you to bury it and here this cow is coming in saying hey you can ha have anything you want in your life but if you keep bringing back if you keep holding on to uh what was like 10 years ago instead of what is right in front of your face or like how maybe you, you maybe it's a job maybe whatever it's a partner a relationship a friend whatever the situation is you keep uh, holding it back holding it back holding it back holding it back and it's going to erupt it's going to explode in your face and it's time now to face it time now to take that uh, dagger and that sword and to slice through it to communicate with that person in your life with that boss with that situation if there's something that uh, like I'm gonna say to every single person your soul knows it's time to listen to your spirit it's time to listen to your third eye let's not whatever it is you feel it it's time to listen to you and start hearing it if it's telling you get out of that marriage, it's telling you to step into that marriage, it's telling you to step out of that job, to get that job, to to move away. If it's telling you, you need to listen. And when you listen, the miracles are endless. But if you continue staying in this this thing here, this, if you continue staying in this, then this is what you will reap. 
You keep bringing it back. It's the loop. I keep talking about the loop. You keep feeling, you keep bring. you keep like rejecting, uh, ignoring the problem. It's going to come back. There's no, there's none of that anymore. It's like we have to face it. it there never was that. It's just now it's like it's coming more and more and it's more it's resurfacing more and more and more and the thing is if you guys believe in this journey at all the thing is is that when you um, reject or ignore or whatever it doesn't just come back again it comes back tenfold it comes back in a way that you need to like wake up to it and you need to make that change and it's not gonna come back the same way like it's not gonna it's not gonna be comfortable it's gonna be very uncomfortable. It's gonna be this. So, take this into account and start to um, fix or solve the problems or face them. Because April twelfth, everything is coming to surface and beyond. Right? We're going to eclipse season. Eclipse is all about surfacing. So we got a lot of work to do. You're not the only one. Taurus has a lot of work to do. Everybody has a lot of work to do. You're one of them. Um, it's time to face whatever it is that's been holding you back for all these weeks and these months that we've been together. Because you have this waiting for you. Know that you have this, the cow. Keep the cow in your head. <laughs> so I'm going to give you one last message. From the spirit messages for Gemini, please. Any final message for them, please? Reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about the emotional benefits in learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. Reach out to the people around you for help. Reach out to your guides for help. I say reach into your heart. Reach into your soul because it knows. It knows where you need to be. It knows where at all times. It's time to stop living in the past, to stop living into what could be. It's time to living in what is. My beautiful Gemini, we've been going through this for a few weeks now, and you're coming to a head. And I'm telling you, April 12th, you might not feel it on April 12th right away, but it's going to trickle into April and things are gonna to start to surface and they're not gonna be pretty but they're gonna be necessary. And you're the only card here that has this like amazing omen, I guess, or like like you have miracles around you. So use this energy to face them and then wait for the miracle to happen. All right, my beautiful Gemini, I love you. Do check your rising and your moon if you have any other, uh, if this doesn't resonate at all, go for it. Otherwise, um, the work needs to be done. So get at it. I love you. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. We got Cat Spirit. Claim your independence. So, I mean, literally, claiming your independence feels like some of you are holding on to, are you you perhaps... Uh, being dependent upon other people in your life and you're not trusting yourself to be um, free like you're not trusting you're not trusting you're free but you're not trusting yourself you're not trusting your um, your inner knowing it's time to break free that's what I mean break free from like um, people's opinions people's belief systems people's um, challenge their own inner challenges that are maybe reflecting onto you it's time to step away from other people's stories it's time to overwrite their stories with your own it's time to overwrite your these stories as well that you're carrying with you 
claim your independence, be like this cat with the wings and fly away where you need to fly. If it doesn't appease to anyone else around you, it's too bad. It's your life, right? You, you choose where you want to go in your life. You choose your path. You choose how you want to live regardless of how anyone else feels around you. It's time to set yourself free, my beautiful crabs. All right, so this week I'm using three different decks. And we have the Eight of Wands, which is fast movement. <laughs> so let's do this fast. The Ten of Coins, which is money coming in from a investment, from an inheritance, from an estate. Uh, money that's coming in that's not necessarily something you've earned in a job. Um, financial stability. Seven of Swords is lies, deceptions around you, dishonesty. Three of Cups. Friends, socializing. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We have creation water and we have the soul nice passion what an interesting energy here we have water water swords wands coins you got them all all the elements are here for you when I see all this all this sticks out to me three of cups and the seven of swords the Three of Cups energy is like uh, you socializing, you going out, you partying maybe, or you have two friends or like a group of friends that uh, are close to you or just people close to you in your life. There's this feeling of, um, it's, it's really a feeling of going out though to restaurants or enjoying yourself, like Three Cups. Collaborating with people. But then you have the Seven of Swords on top. Seven of Swords energy. It's like an energy of like deceit, dishonesty, someone lying to you, you lying to some people maybe. Maybe there's like a little riff in a friendship, in a group, a friendship group, or, um, or at work or something like you're um, I don't know why seven of swords is showing up here because eight of wands energy is like uh, movement forward or maybe communication someone's coming call, gonna call you text you email you something regarding money regarding a financial opportunity regarding maybe a new job a new um, investment opportunity so there's that there's the, that could be coming in for you that could be claiming your independence right so you're um, moving away or moving into something that feels um, stable yet there's someone around you that's holding you back from this opportunity. Seven of Swords. This is an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be an Aquarius. No. Three of Cups is a Cancer. It doesn't have to be. Either. Like it's just like a very interesting. That I just feel like someone is like, um, I almost feel like you you have this opportunity coming towards you, or it's there already, and maybe there's someone around you that's um, um, jealous of this opportunity, and they're like almost veering you off the path, or you're doing that to yourself, you're uh, self-sabotaging, which you like to do so well, <laughs> okay, my beautiful Cancer. There's just this feeling here of... Um, like you might be getting a raise or a promotion or something like, um, or an opportunity to move away from where you are, just some like something 
um, outside of yourself almost. And there's this someone in your life that is kind of holding you back from it. Um, a little jealous, maybe not as happy for you. And it's like a, it feels to me like it's more, it's not a partner. It feels like a friend or a, a colleagues or like a group a kind of situation, like a students, like whatever it is. There's the, or a family unit could be that, but it's like a group of, like a group of people. <laughs> so there's just something here that's holding you back from it. And your, this beautiful woman is here. Usually water feels emotions. It's like, that's what it is. And the soul showing up, these two, it's like, open your eyes, Cancer. Pay attention to everyone around you who is like, uh, that you don't feel right. Be the wise woman. Like, go, wisdom comes from the heart. Go into your heart. Uh, open up that third eye of yours kind of thing and start to live your life as you want to start to live your life as you feel fit regardless of this energy showing up here regardless if someone is around you trying to put a spoke in the wheel trying to like or even uh, they might not be physically doing it but you're feeling it energetically or mentally um, but there's something coming for you in like a financial way or a secure way or a stable, like a, even like um, a, a moving, like so you're moving away or um, a home, something that way that's coming towards you. And you have someone around you that you need to be careful of, but otherwise these cards are saying, just listen in, you, you know what to do. Um, Claim your independence. Be the cat. The cats don't care about any other animal, any other human. They don't care about anybody but themselves. So be that. I'm not saying not to care about anybody else, but just follow your gut. So whatever this week is bringing you, cancer is asking you to, and steer clear of any um, negative energies around you. If there is a negative energy, um, acknowledge it and under, like, put the mirror up and reflect and see why this negative energy is around you or what, what this person is bringing up in you. Because if someone is hating on you, then you're hating on yourself. It's, it's projection. So it's time to pay attention to that kind of energy. It's time to do, everybody ha is here needing to do some self work. It's just what it is. April 12th is bringing up that, it's bringing up the uh, shadow self work that we need to do. And this is no different. But you're really literally being asked to like go into your uh, heart and your, which is the eye. For me, it's the same thing, third eye, and really listen in. Listen to yourself, my beautiful Cancer. You know what to do, regardless of this situation. It doesn't have to be a person, but it feels like it could be like even a boss or uh, someone that's. Um, putting a damper on your life knowingly and it's up to you to break free from it right it's up to you to fly away from it all right cancer everybody has some very interesting energies happening this week so i'm going to pick a card for you from the spirit messages for a final message for some cancer, please. Ooh, this is a big one to answer. Self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It is that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. I think I brought this up, that it could be self-sabotage, this as well. But 
um and and i mean this makes sense even if there is someone around you like putting like like this to you you could revert easily to like saying oh well it's me it's me it's me it's my fault it's my fault it's my fault it's like no enough with that right let's move into a new energy let's just come face to face what it is if you're sabotaging yourself it's time to not to close your eyes it's time to look at the mirror and understand why it is that that way and start to do your inner work my beautiful cancer we're all having to face this inner work but really start listening in quiet your mind and listen that is the best advice that you need to follow i love you and i'll see you next week cancer check your rising your moon if this didn't resonate love you bye hello my beautiful leo we got badger spirit be fearless and bold number four number four is like foundation getting to the root of the problem so some of you are being asked to be fearless and bold some of you are maybe in a situation where you're still in the in a on a, a seesaw on a like a roller coaster and you're a seesaw more like a seesaw like trying to figure out what it is that you want to do in your life and you keep holding back you keep pushing it back keep pushing it back you need to make a change in your relationship in your your home situation your financial situation whatever it is and you keep like no no okay next week next week next week and it's like no it's now <laughs> that's what this is it's like just be bold just do it if you're if you're feeling it if it, it's something that keeps coming up it means that your soul is saying hey listen this is what you need to do do it and it, it's like it's always the same thing it's like you got to move here you got to move here you got to move here and then you're, you keep saying no 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 you may have lost your chance but no it's gonna keep coming back it's like go now is the time to do to listen so whatever it is that's holding you back from whatever is holding you back it's time to make a move my beautiful leos <laughs> go for it open the business shut the business open the new relationships shut the you know like just do it what is it what are you feeling do it why do we hold on to things we keep holding on to what if uh, he changes what if she changes what if my boss changes what like no but do you of course so let's just see what these cards have to say the knight of coins the knight of coins is like um money coming in slowly but surely so that's interesting the four of coins is like money so money 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 here finances here something you're um you could be afraid of of making a move because you don't have the financial backing you don't have the financial stability you're afraid to go into that business because you don't have it but here it's saying that you you're gonna have it it's coming in it's not something you need to worry about so let's see what else there is the king of swords is an aquarius energy the high priestess is listen to yourself Cancer Pisces energy, richness, marine life, very interesting here, and depth, the lake, just like the drowning, but almost like a moon card, which is a Pisces as well. And the Knight of Coins is a Virgo, and the Four of Coins is a Capricorn, if that is relevant to you. But here, like, the King of Swords comes in. It's like a very, uh, could be a lawmaker, a legal attorney, a, like something that could be related to the legal system, or a financial advisor, could be, or banker, or something like this. Maybe you have... Um, you're having to go and open a account or something or stock market or something related to this. It could be people in a process of divorce or separation or it could be people in a contract negotiation when it comes to a job promotion or uh, getting a new contract in your business, something related to that, the King of Swords energy, but it's a person. So when they, the kings, the queens, they show up, it's, 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 it's usually about someone in your life. 
it could be asking you to channel the king of swords energy the leo aquarius is your opposite sign so it could be you like going into that kind of energy and saying okay just being cutthroat about it and asking for what you want asking for that raise asking for like someone to speak up and talk to you communication asking or doing like it's like this, uh, the king of swords energy is like doing it like not only are you uh, saying it but you're actually doing it because to me money is everywhere money is like all around you and maybe you're not seeing it but it's there because the richness of the marine life it speaks of abundance this all these all speak of abundance this might be coming in slowly but it, it all speaks of like money coming around you or towards you or there and you're not seeing it and you're negating it because you're doubting yourself or you're um, you're skirting around it and here the king of swords and the high priest are showing up together like amazing together the high priest is like sitting on her they're both sitting on their thrones very confident but very knowing of what their next move is and they're interesting energy they're both the same kind of energy of very um, not very warm-hearted let's say but very um but very giving at the same time a very caring but at the same time um pragmatic so there could be that energy these people around you could be that that there's there's like you need to seek out someone who's going to be not so um hot-headed like you leo or um someone more practical and logical when it comes to making a decision or you're just having to start to listen in to you because you have opportunities all around you abundance is yours but you're not seeing it very clearly because you're kind of like uh, wavering you're um, you're um, staying low you know you're staying in the you're hiding from a certain situation you're hiding from a person and um, that's not where you're gonna find your answers you're gonna find your answers when you resurface Ooh, and when you do resurface Leo it's there for the taking like it's there for you, you I, why what are you hiding from like stop hiding from yourself stop hiding from other people they're not worth like you know if you have to hide from someone I just feel like you're like um, you're needing to take you need to be bold you need to take that step forward just do it what is it that you need to do what is your soul telling you to do is telling you to get up and go and um, go to Texas and go to Texas It's telling you to go to um, change that job then do it it's telling you to step away from this person so do it you know it's like it's, it's all this energy here that's asking you to do these things and you're holding back from it and everyone here is telling you you, you like you have like your whole um your abundance your um it doesn't always have to be about money though it could be love whatever it's waiting for you and the balance is like a gemini reading if you have gemini in your sign go check that it's waiting for you yet you're like in this um self-doubt and you know you just know what to do stop hiding stop holding on to a past stop holding on to uh, what was stop holding on to um, uh, the stories that you keep putting in your head and start to listen to the story that's going on in your head right now like what is it feeling right now go in and ask the, for the next step I think this is like moving into the unknown for you just trust trust be fearless and bold and trust yourself not everybody else around you all the blah blah and the chatter and the clutter around you no because money is all around you it's waiting for you and I mean it's money abundance whatever like love like just like a stability is around you and you're just needing to go into yourself 
and seek advice from um, a financial advisor, a real estate agent, uh, a travel agent, or a friend that is very clear and cutthroat kind of thing. That is what you need right now. A, ju- a lawyer, you know, I don't know what the situation is you're in, but you just need some um, pragmatic advice. Not, uh, oh, yeah, just like, whatever. No, we need you to, like, do something. There's a there's like a, uh, a step you need to take here, Leo. It's up to you to do it, too. And, and watch things as they, like, come into play. And they come, they flow into your life. Like, marine life. They flow, like, it's very fully abundant here. It's time. Wow, Leo, (laughs) I didn't expect that either. So here, we have one last message for you from our spirit messages for Leo, please. Alrighty. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a map and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to step and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Stop listening to everybody else is what I'm saying. This is how I'm finding this. Go into your center. Where is your center? It is your heart. Your third eye is your center. (laughs) Go into your knowing. Go into your innate. It knows what to do. This is my message for every single one of you. But you, Leo in particular, and Gemini, have money all around you and you're not seeing it because you're stuck inside an old story. So, find your center, however that is. Go to the water, go into nature, however it is for you. Do it and go and seek some advice from someone that can help you in whatever situation you're in. But uh, start trusting yourself. You don't have to seek advice either, but start listening to you. All right, my beautiful Leo, I hope this resonated. Check your rising and your moon for other messages or if it didn't resonate at all then go check your rising and your moon i love you so much and um trust because your dreams are waiting in the balance for you to come true love you bye hello my beautiful virgo we got ant spirit time to collaborate so i don't know what you guys are doing out there if you are in the process of building a business, starting a new job, working doing, working with teams in a job, um, time to collaborate, maybe you're working with communities, you're working with um, programs, your friends, it could be relationships too, collaborate means, t- talks to me about communication, it's time to like um, connect with people. Some of you maybe are uh, bringing everything on your shoulders, which Virgo loves to do so much because they think they can bring it all on. It's time to delegate, right? It's time to ask for help from other people through situations that are like holding you back. Ants help each other. They don't. They can't do every. They can't build whatever they're building all alone. They can't do it. They need each other. And that's how they work and they work really well as actually so this is a very interesting message let's see what's going on with you guys oh look at our first card <laughs> the devil the devil is a capricorn energy the devil the devil is like um you could be holding yourself back you could be like obsessing about a certain situation. You could be um, um, like putting yourself, uh, trying to avoid a situation by like 
drinking, smoking, like doing, like um, falling into um, doing things extreme so you could just avoid another prod- situation in your life. Or it could be someone in your life that is like the devil. So let's just see before I get into my two way ahead of myself. The three of wands is an Aries energy under the devil. But the three of wands is like, could be moving away from a devil, moving away from obsessions and stuff. Let's just see. Eight of cups is also another or energy of moving away from a situation. So very interesting. The Seven of Cups is choices, daydreams, wishful thinking, hmm. groundedness, gravity, and home, earth. Very interesting energy. We have Capricorn, which is Earth as well. We have the Seven and Eight of Cups, which is Pisces and and Scorpio. And then we have Aries, like I said. And we could have Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is the... The devil is throwing me off for a loop. Because here there's this... There's this there's this um, energy of moving forward, moving away from something. So it could be moving away from this devil energy, which is like I said, like these extremes, these addictions, these like um, materialism, um, wanting um, excess of something, like always um, instead of like choosing minimalism choosing like the simple things in life and just going for the like extravagance of it all there's that feeling here that maybe some of you have fallen into this having like not fallen into this because Virgo could be like that too as well like go over the top right take everything on their shoulders and then just go into extremes whatever so I just feel like I think you're taking on too much on your on yourself you're um you're in your own way here virgo time to collaborate is because you're not seeing what's in front of you you're always looking for the next best thing you're always looking for well if it's not working out then i'm gonna go get something else like you're never just staying in the presence of the moment and never like taking the time for yourself you're you're always in a rush to get to like to what it is that you have set in your mind you've like okay this is what has to happen and this is gonna happen and you're never grounding yourself you're flying a little bit too high right now in your sit in your life and you're always like um on the move that's what this this is coming here these 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 two actually you keep running away from something because it's not comfortable for you or it's not the way you want it or it's not how you put it out there well this is how i did I, I, this is how i want it to happen but it's not happening so i'm just gonna i'm gonna run i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna go walk away from it and then I'm gonna go pick something else. Like, look, I have seven other choices here. I can just pick another one. Another man, another woman, another job, another this, another situation, another path. But you're really not dealing with the situation. You're just like running away from this that's like holding you. Like you, this in, in this situation is you, you holding yourself back. You being your devil. Right? We're all devils anyways at one point. We're God, we're devil, the same shit, right? This is all polarity thinking. So you're acting out your devil part of you right now, my beautiful Virgos. And there's a new chapter opening up for you. And you could start fresh again. And um, the starting the fresh again is like... You going back to you. You going back to your 
you grounding yourself again, going back to earth, going back to home, to yourself. You finding um, happiness in just um, having your feet on the ground and reveling in life around you and not like looking for the next best thing, looking for like the devil is that kind of energy too, right? It's that energy of like uh, shiny objects excite you, like new experiences, new this, but never grounding yourself, always flying high. Always on the move, always like um, changing your destination. Because it didn't work out for you in, in the first place. So you're like, okay, I'm gonna, like, instead of working out that situation, like, why, understanding what it is, why is the devil showing up in my cards here? Because the devil is me. And why am I running away from myself all the time? It's really like, wow, these cards, everybody, every single sign this week, man, these cards are a lot of facing up to ourselves. This is like you running away and always like going in to get into a, 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 the next shiny, the next shiny object, the next best thing, and never really settling down. It's time to collaborate. It's like time to collaborate with yourself too. It's time to uh, come together with like you. You can even be like. Um, Ask people around you that you trust to help you through something. Not just like um, brush it off as like, oh, okay, whatever, it's not working, so uh, fuck him, fuck her, fuck the situation, I'm not interested, I'm just going to move on to the next. I really feel like the earth here, the grounding and the gravity is showing up. It's just saying, no, no, you need to like um, find your stability again, Virgo. You're, you're going off on an on your your mind is taking you like you need to control of this your mind is like controlling you whereas you're an earth sign right you're able to find that balance and stability within you but you're right now taking in um, just a lot of energies around you you're not trusting in yourself you're um, you're um, just jumping into other because there's possibilities showing up all around you. So you're just like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this and do this. But it's like you're negating what it really is, the problem, which is the devil. So whatever your problem is, is that you're neg you're uh, avoiding it, right? You could be like. Um, it could be a relationship, it could be uh, your job, it could be whatever it is, but there's something around you that it keeps showing up because the devil keeps showing up all the time until you fix it. And you keep saying, oh, okay, I'm gonna fix it. And no, it's not working out, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check out this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and then you end up being again in the loop again. You keep going the same loop over and over and over again until you finally cut it off or you face it, but you face it more on a personal level because why you keep going in that loop? It's not because of that other person or that job or that situation, it's because of you. You are not trusting yourself and you keep in the same loop again. So you need to trust yourself and the other ants in your life to help you through this. It's time to come together. It's time for you to bring your mind, your heart together and listen in quietly and ground yourself. I, I feel like some of you are needing to go um, do some grounding, earthing, which I've said to someone else, but put your feet on the grass, feel the earth under your toe, on your soles of your feet and ask questions to the earth. You get the answers. It's time to go back home. It's time to do gardening, do like, do things for self. It's time to like, um, Obviously, it's not speaking to every single one of you, Virgos, but I feel like one of you is like, um, or some of you are um, not, 
you're not at peace with yourself and you keep looking for some other entertainment or some other like uh, path to take but you never really um, staying still I think it's time for a little bit of stillness for you Virgo not for a week not for a month like for a long time it's time to ground yourself go back home I think Taurus got this too go back home into your heart not into the external and the exterior bullshit it's time to um create at home collab like you know do uh, gardening or scrapbooking or whatever the hell you want to do right <laughs> that's not matter but it's just like this feeling of you stretching yourself thin and always on the on the run you're always running away from a situation and never really facing the devil which the devil could be you the devil could be someone else but you keep um you keep uh, going back in the same circle over and over again because you're not putting it to bed you're not facing it and you know like I said in the intro April 12th everyone's gonna face uh, April 12th April and May we're all everything all of the shit all the challenges everything is coming to surface we're gonna have to face whatever it is that we've been hiding 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 the mirrors are coming up and they're gonna shatter in front of us because we're going to be like whoa so wow virgo <laughs> wow. okay it's okay we all have to do this we all have to face our demons we all have to face what it is why we keep going in the same circle all the time why these loops keep happening to us all the time there's always like a reason for it right all right my beautiful so let's see what's going on virgo final message Stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to source. So if every, any, this is like exactly, stay connected. Stay, time to collaborate. It's time to, it's time to, some of you are hearing and listening, seeing numbers and hearing like, Staying connected is listening to yourself, listening to your soul for the next um, decisions. Stepping away, the devil could also be stepping away from all this, stepping away from mainstream media, stepping away from all the friends and friends, blah, 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 all the bullshit around you. Moving into yourself, getting grounded, staying connected to earth. C connected to earth is staying connected to source, to God, to creator. It's time to co-create your life, my beautiful Virgos. Only you can do it. And how you do it is to step away from the blah, blah world, the external world, and go within. And I know it's a bit hard for you, the Virgos, to go within and stay there for a while. But you need to do it more than for a weekend. You need to really go in and trust your soul for the next steps. And if you need to, like, uh, and don't do it on your own. You can't do this on your own. Go look for help. Seek help seek advice or really go in because this is the only advice you really need all right Virgo, i love you and if you go check your rising and your moon for other messages if this didn't resonate with you at all otherwise i will see you next week you can do this and it's really important to actually do this it's important to face that mirror of yours because we need to get away from this old energy and move into a new energy I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Libra. We got Elephant Spirit. Learn from the past. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. So I felt when, it, when I picked this card, and I spoke about it on Instagram a bit, is that I feel like some of you are holding on to the past. You're holding on to how you used to do things. Uh, you, you're holding on to someone from your past. You're holding on to... Um, 
because I've been with this person for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, or I'm friends with this person for whatever, the same same idea, or I've just always done it like this. So why would I change even though you're not happy? There's just a feeling here. It's time to release yourself from that. It's time to live in the present and start to go into the heart more for the answer. It's, it's like I feel like some of you keep repeating a pattern, you keep repeating something, it keeps coming back in your face and you're just not seeing it, or you're seeing it, but you're just avoiding it. And some, it's, I'm really curious to see these cards, so I want to see what's going on here with you guys. The lovers in reverse. So, I mean, right away, this is like a relationship, a partnership, a marriage, a family, but usually it's a love, right? So in reverse is obviously something going on here. Let's see. The Hierophant. Hierophant just speaks of marriage, tradition. All right, my beautiful Libras. Five of Coins is like poverty mindset, lack in your life. Oh, wow. I've never gotten this. Oh, my God. The lovers in reverse again. Lovers, two lovers in reverse here, my beautiful Libras. A poverty mindset, lack, struggle, and hierophant card, which is like higher learning or marriage. Discipline, time. Time is ticking. And silence, snow. Libra, Libra, Libra. This is very indicative of one thing only, but it could be a few things. But um, obviously it's not going to pertain to every single Libra out there, but whoever needs to hear this, I hope you're here and watching this because you are in a, a loop when it comes to your marriage, your partnership, uh, your relationships. You are constantly struggling. There is a, either over money, finances, or over just, uh, whatever love the choices that you make within this relationship there's just it's not it doesn't feel good at all to me you are in a rut it might be affecting your work it might be affecting your finances but the hierophant is a taurus these are gemini cards the uh five of taurus again so it could you could be with a taurus it doesn't have to be obviously but there is just a, um, I almost feel like maybe some of you are in this relationship and you just keep finding yourself always in the same kind of relationship. You keep finding yourself uh, choosing the same partners all the time and you're not learning from your past. You're not learning and you keep repeating these things and you keep finding yourself always in a hole again always finding the same situation obviously again like i said it's not everybody but there is someone here that definitely needs to hear this there is um perhaps someone that has lied to you when it comes to money someone has cheated on you someone that has um like turned your life around but not in a good way like I feel like you're you're in uh, like a, a cycle like you keep um, falling for the same person and maybe you're married and you're with that same that person and it's just like and it, the five of coins doesn't have to always be about financial it could just be like you you're in a a poverty mindset but also like a, a lack you're just feeling worthless and you're feeling like oh I'm here again right why do I keep doing this to myself and this is the best time to do that mirror work I keep talking about with everybody it's like put that mirror up now and say well, why the hell why do you keep doing that why are you bringing up why do you keep meeting the same person 
What is it that you haven't like solved in your life? What is it that you haven't come to terms with in your life? I and mean, you keep bringing this up. Because if you're bringing up, you're meeting always the same person. If you're always, then you have to look back and say, okay, who didn't um, love me in the past? Learn from your past. Why did I allow that to happen? Was it my father? Was it my mother? Was it, right? And it's like, look at that mirror. The people we choose in our lives, it's always a reflection of ourselves. We always are finding, um, and and it, if we're always like hating on that person or for they bug you or they annoy you, it's because you're annoyed by yourself. It's not this person, it's, right? So that is a huge this is a huge this is a huge card right now for everybody in this world because we are having to walk away from the storylines of our past to move into something new and here you are in the middle of it and you are being forced and april 12th like i said in the intro is time in april and may is going to be the time when all of this shit resurfaces and if you're not at that if you're at a, a specific uh, frequency in your life or vibration or whatever and if this comes up and it's not matching you it's gonna come back and it's gonna come hard man <laughs> you're gonna feel it and it's gonna come like exponentially in your face and you're gonna have to deal with it there's no like shoving shit away anymore we're all having to deal with it so you guys have to come to terms with these relationships that are just not working and you have to realize why it is why do you keep finding yourself back in the same loop again because you will find yourself back in the same loop but th this time around the loop is going to be grander than it used to be so get ready for that because um you not feeling worthy of yourself it's not a nice feeling and you not feeling like um that you can move on into something else not a good feeling are you you struggling financially because of this I mean it, it's all it, it's all hand in hand when one part of your life doesn't work out the other parts also like plays a part here the Hierophant card speaks to me of like uh, some of you might not be you're so traditional in your mind that you might not even want to divorce or separate you want to stick to the rules or whatever and it's like I mean, every, if everyone is like has their own ways of doing with things, but I feel like that that is some of you are, are having a hard time breaking that tradition. And time shows up, and it's like time for me is a quantum. Right now, we're we're heading into quantum. There's not really time, so it, but it speaks of discipline. Um, I don't feel like the time is click kick click clicking tickling <laughs> ticking jesus okay the time is ticking but um i don't believe in like i believe that we're gonna be here for a long time but let's just like do things like take the time to actually work on yourself because you don't necessarily have to break this relationship maybe it's more a you thing and you have to face those mirrors but there is like a really, uh, a real disconnect here. And it's showing up twice. So that's a huge thing to pay attention to. It's like go into silence, go quiet in your mind, go where you have no disturbances and like really um, put your feet on the ground, right? Put your feet, even though there's snow here, but put your feet on the ground, go into nature um, where there is no time and just find it in your, you, I, I really feel like some of you already know this and you're just like um, prolonging it. You, and, or if you're in this relationship, some of you maybe are single and you, you know, you recognize this. You're like, yes, I keep going after the same person all the time and they, they still make me feel worthless and this is why I'm not in a relationship and blah, 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 right? There's that feeling here for me. And it's like learning from your past is like, okay, learning from your past now, just say, oh yeah, this is who I pick. It's really actually looking at yourself. So this is, you gotta do some mirror work, my beautiful Libras. We're asking you to like reflect 
why are you here why are you in this job why are you with this person why are you like why do you keep doing the same pattern all the time it's a little bit of a therapy session but it's it's got to come up right we got to release that from you because it's stuck energy stuck energies bring on anxiety bring on stress they bring on like um any dis-ease that you have it's time to release that from you you're being asked to move into yourself and to really do this work for you regardless of what everybody else thinks around you regardless of these like belief systems in your life religions and then whatever it is it's you time and you need to follow through on this for you because you're going to end up in the same loop over and over again and like I said if you listen to me we are going into like April 12th and on the loop that you go into is going to be much greater it's going to hit you harder and it's going to like you're you're going to be forced almost to make these decisions which is a good thing I guess but why don't we work on it before all right my beautifuls I'm going to give you one last message for Libra. You know, sometimes we need to go, sometimes you just need to face it. Because in the end, in the end, when you realize who you, why you're here, which you're going to realize soon, you're going to even laugh about it. I know you're not laughing now, but you are powerful beings. You have the capacity to change your life, to change the navigation route. You have it. Not anybody else can do it for you, but you. Okay, let's go. Why we don't have a card for Libra? But we do. Oh. The same card as Leo? No. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Find your center, go into the snow. Go into the snow, go into the silence. Find that time for you to reflect. When you find your center, which is your heart, your third eye, your higher self, however you want, when you go in, you find that center, you can find the answers that you're looking for. You can learn from your past, but you can also learn from today. And that is what's important. Listen in, follow what it's saying to you because it knows where you need to be. All right, my beautiful Libras, I love you. Check your rising and your moon. If for other messages, if this didn't resonate, because it was a kind of a specific message for some of you, um, I will see you next week. I love you, bye. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. We have dreamed the world into being, lizard spirit. This speaks so much of like what is going on right now, how we are um, able to manifest whatever we want in our lives when we are, when it's the right time for us, of course, when we're really listening in to our hearts and to spirit and to the, our soul. You can dream any dream you want. You can dream any world you want, anything you want, if it's right for you. Right? Like if I, oh, I'm dreaming my big yacht, whatever that, I don't know why that came into my head, so maybe some of you are dreaming that. But if it's not in your plan, then you're not getting that yacht. And if you do get that yacht, and it's not in your plan, then it's gonna go away from you sooner than you can like enjoy it. So it's really trusting in the, the divine plan that's set out for you. We all have it, you can dream um, the world into being if it's aligned with you and you all know it if you just follow your heart so 
Let's see what's going on. We have the Emperor, which is an Aries. It's like, um, I'm gonna check this out. We have the Nine of Swords energy, which is depression and insomnia. We have the Two of Swords. Okay. We have a decision to make, my beautiful Scorpios. And we have the Three of Wands. It's an air, another Aries. Then we have Completion, which is West. And Comfort, Hearth. Which is an 11. You have an 11 here as well. So, the Emperor, Nine of Swords. Okay, wow. The Right away, what I see here is that some of you might be in relationships that someone is very controlling or you might be in a job situation where your boss is really controlling or you might be in a situation your parents are really controlling. Like there's someone around you, could be a male, like, because it's emperor, it could be a female. So it could be someone around you that is, um, has a temper, who's very like sure of themselves but also very too a bit too strong for you a, a bit too like um domineering and it's 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 resulting in this the nine of swords energy is someone who's very anxious very stressed very like um a lot of like thoughts rolling in her mind and his her his mind like there's a lot of like heaviness of energy the nine of swords and i see that that that's like showing up right there and it's speaking to me of a two of swords energy which is like having to make a decision that i really want to make i don't really don't want to make this decision that's why i'm blindfolded but the three of wands is like you gotta you gotta make that you gotta do it you gotta take the uh, bull by the horns and you gotta move you're, you keep you keep doing this. You gotta dream your world into being. You can't just stay in the same situation all the time, expecting something to change, but by you not even working at it or you by not even believing in it, right? I feel like some of you here, Scorpios, are in a uh, whatever it is. Could be romantic, could be not. Could be a, a job situation or financial situation. Could be like a family thing, but you're allowing someone else to control your life you're allowing someone else to make decisions you're allowing someone else to um take you on a path that is not where you want to be and you've been holding on it you've been like uh, taking on this stress you've been taking this on and it's like okay it's time to go scorpio it's up to you you need to <clears throat> i love that these people are like both backs to us right it's like this is like I, um, I don't know what to do but at the same time I know that it's like I can't do it with you I need to do it alone this decision and at the same time I need to like move forward without you and it like I said it's not only relationships here there's everything else there's a lot of things happening here and it's like the like maybe you need to go to the west <laughs> the west like, right <clears throat> maybe the west is calling you so the west of wherever you are right now the west is calling you but it doesn't have to be that <clears throat> sorry but completion right never north east southwest i guess that's the completion on the compass it's like um to me this is a brain puzzle piece showing up here it's like you have that pu you have that piece of the puzzle you keep holding on to that piece of the puzzle and it's time to like end the puzzle you're holding on to something Scorpio and this could be something that you've been holding on for a long time you're holding on something but it, it's very uh, it weighs heavily on you it's very controlling it's like the Emperor is the Emperor is very controlling it's very heavy it's been weighing heavily on you and you've been feeling it for a long time the nine of swords energy is just like this overwhelm and the time has come to make a decision and your decision is to leave is to leave the nest it's to leave whatever it is that it is that's like holding you back 
because what's waiting for you is like comfort and home like like maybe some of you are having to walk away from a home situation and you're like worried about that but here we have this beautiful baby with a dog like comfortable with a fire like there's there's something waiting for you and you're not trusting that You're not trusting it to be you. You're you keep um, allowing the emperor to um, take precedence over you, over your um, life, over your feelings, over everything, and yet you um, you have these like um, you're depressive, you're sad, you're anxious, you're stressed, you're. You feel guilty, you feel like, you know, you feel all these feels, yet you're still there. And it's like, okay, it's time. You're ready. You're ready to make the move. You, you're holding the last piece of the puzzle. So it's up to you. If you choose to stay in it, then you choose to stay in it, right? If you choose not to, then you have a beautiful home waiting for you. It could be like, or a beautiful, like, Home also means like it's not home, it's hearth and comfort, but also it's like you finding like a, your score, your Taurus, the opposite sign of you is like be at home. It's like finding the home within you. Be comfortable with yourself regardless of what other people think about you or regardless of other people's opinions, belief systems. What a frick, right? They can, they can lead their life or whatever they want to lead their life, but you get to lead the light the way you want to lead it you are the lizard you are the chameleon you can adapt to whatever it is that you want but it's time to dream your dream not someone else's this emperor speaks to me of someone else in your life that is like uh, dreaming your dream is like uh, is like a creating your dream for you right no that's not the way it works <laughs> sorry but it's not working like that <laughs> and um you have this you hold the piece of the puzzle to either uh, walk away from the, the domineering person situation or create something new create a new dream for you you have the power to do anything you want my beautiful scorpios you want to manifest anything in your life it starts from you nobody else it's not like i am like this you have to take um responsibility for what you say after the I am I've told you that many like readings ago you also have to um, do what's in your heart stop listening to the ego the Emperor is the ego it could be that too actually that you are it doesn't have to be someone it could be but usually it's someone because it's, it also could be your ego that you're holding you're you're like you're trusting in the control you have to release the control of the ego and go into your heart and make those decisions from here listen your soul knows i've said this in every single reading your soul knows your soul knows it's so beautiful to listen to your soul and not to this crap over here and once you start listening here this like recedes or you know it like um, slows down it's not as like aggressive you have the piece of the puzzle which is kind of beautiful Scorpio you're holding it and it's up to you to make that decision whatever it is for you for this happy home it's time three wands is that is that seeing that destination there and actually going for it I have one last message for you, my beautiful scorpions. For my beautiful scorpions. Serenity. The most important relationship you can have with yourself is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and rec and resentments interfere with your serenity today. Beautiful message for you. 
Don't let the ego or someone else come into your mind and control your mind. Let go of all this stress and anxiety that's not like it's keeping you up at night. It's like like controlling your mind. It's time to say goodbye to that. It's time to find serenity. Serenity most of us find at home. I love it. Take the time for yourself. It's time to dream your dream, my beautiful scorpions. You have it in you to do it. Why are you holding on? Stop holding on to what was and work on what is. I love you and I'll see you next week. Also check your rising and your moon for other messages. All right, bye. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. We got frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. Two plus eight is 10, one. It's like new beginnings. So I feel like some of you are having to, um, what is the clutter in your life? Is it a relationship? Is it a, a job? Is it like things in your house? Is it um, people, like friends, family? What is not working in your life? What is not balanced in your life? What is not aligning with you in your life? That is the clutter. This is what we're going to right now. We are heading into a world in April and May where a lot of uh, um, of our shadow selves are emerging. A lot of what we tried to hide for so long is coming to surface. It's going to come into our faces and it's, if you don't deal with it, it's gonna come in harder and more apparent. So the frog is asking you, it's time <laughs> to clear out the clutter, which is kind of good. That's like springtime. It's time for some spring cleaning, but not only in your home. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which who do you think that is? It's Sagittarius. Again, you show up in your reading. So that's destiny. It's a, um, this is Jupiter, right? Jupiter is aligning with Neptune on April 12th. So this is your planet. It's like expansiveness, it's discovery. It's time to bring in new energies into your life. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is like um, heavy weight, like like lots of heavy um, mental energies weighing you down. Maybe it was maybe it's destiny. Maybe you are supposed to have this happening to you so that you can move on to the next journey. Six of Swords is like bye bye. <laughs> It's moving away from something. <laughs> ten of Wands. Interesting. A Ten of Wands. you got two tens here. Ten of Wands, again, carrying on heavy burdens. But these are ends of journeys. And moving into a new journey. Uh, ignition Fire, which is you. You are a fire sign. And Movement Speed. So, <laughs> right away, <laughs> my beautiful Sadies. <laughs> It's like um, very obvious to me that you are needing to walk away from something like super rapido, <laughs> like speed and fire. You know, fire is like explosive. Speed is like speed is fast. It's like air sign, fire sign. So your fire sign. It's like you're coming up here in your readings. To, oh no. no. This is you. This is Ten of Swords is Gemini. Gemini. Sorry, that was Gemini. Aquarius. And yes, this is you. That's why I knew that I saw you. <laughs> you're here. You're here and here. So you're Saggy, Saggy, Saggy. You're, it's like the Wheel of Fortune is destiny as well, right? It's fate. It's like, um, you were supposed to be at this juncture in your life where it was supposed to be a bit bad, like very heavy for you. You were supposed to get to the end of your um, end of this situation, of this problem. You were supposed to be like at the at your um, last leg of it, kind of thing, right? You like you're like I can't do this anymore, kind of thing. That is where you're at. Whatever the situation is, it could be a relationship, it could be. Um, a financial thing it could be a job it could be whatever like you're like I'm done with this country I gotta move out right I need to like uh, travel I need to do something but you were like it this is not a coincidence you were you're here to see it to to face it you're here to um, 
as uncomfortable as it feels because it's been very tiring it's been very heavy on you my beautiful Sagittarius and you've been hanging on to this hanging on to this and it's like okay what are we waiting for here it's time to go it's time to go because there's no other way out of this and really quickly no waiting around no more like well no 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 it's time so i don't know what the situation is but it's so clear this reading has not there's nothing other than that that i could see here <laughs> like I get, this is done in five minutes this reading because it's like and you're here like it's very present so it's like something you've been holding on to something that you've been like a, the, the, a loop again you've been looping in and out in and out you keep doing you keep staying in this situation for what for we don't know what the reasons are but you keep staying in it and it's just not working out like you're in a relationship it's just not working out it doesn't have you could be really happy in a relationship it doesn't it doesn't have to be you but it could be like you're in a um a financial burden like you're keep on giving money to somebody you keep on giving money and, and you're never getting a return kind of thing and it's like what are you what are you doing no it's not working like leave move you keep staying in your house it's not making you happy so it's time to move it you know i always i always get this like oh, i don't have enough money to move i don't know well manifest the money so what are we doing because if you don't believe that you can manifest this money then it's not going to come in right first of all but it's you have the power to do this all you need to do is believe in yourself Saji. you are being asked to move very quickly on something that you've been holding on to you keep holding on to something we don't know why but it's time it's like time in the cards it's time to go could be uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius could be a Libra Aquarius Gemini again these are just here but it doesn't have to be there is this uh, urgency in these cards wherever it is in the situation that you're in you're needing to move it if it's a job that you're not happy with it's time to move a business uh, whatever it is a friendship a family that is holding something heavy on you it's time to cut the ties and I and I and usually it's like but here it's very like expedient with the speed and the fire it feels like a very not like now <laughs> there's no like there's no waiting around for it when you're listening to this it's almost like you're gonna shut down this reading and you're gonna like okay I gotta do it right now like it's a now thing it's not in the future it's not like uh, holding on again to it you're and, I, and I'm going to tell you this, if you if you do not leave it, the situation right now, if you don't uh, remove, it could even be like objects that you need to clutter, declutter from your life, too many things. If you do not do it, it's going to come back to you tenfold. Karma. Karma is the wheel of fortune. Karma is showing up. It's you, yes, but it's also Jupiter, right? Jupiter is expansive it's also wisdom so start listening into your heart wisdom comes from the heart discovery comes from the heart knowledge comes from out there you need to start listening to you you really do Saji I have nothing else to say here because there is something you've been holding on for a long time and you have like been it could also be a self thing could be like a self-judgment, a fear, a trigger, a like a self-doubt, a something about yourself that you haven't been facing, and it's time to run, to move away from it, to face it. Of course, right? I'm not talking saying you have to face everything you're 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 having to walk away from. You have to communicate, connect with that person or the thing or the situation, and and understand why you're leaving it. But you need to go. <laughs> And it's a now thing, expeditious. <laughs> I love it. All right, so what is the message for Sagittarius, please? Whoa, it was aggressive. You see, that's how fast it is. <laughs> got this self-sabotage 
When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. The inner voice that derailing this is not your inner voice. It's your ego, by the way, this card. <laughs> so it's time to, um, yeah, this is a great card that you got because this is like exactly why you're still in this situation. You keep like going back on yourself. You keep thinking, well, what are they going to think? What are like, well, I'm not that good enough. Or uh, I am like, I'm okay. I'm happy in this situation. I'm okay. I'm okay. Like, you know what? No. Who are you? A powerful being of light who can manifest anything they want in their lives. If you start believing that, then you can bring in anything you want in your life. It's time to believe in yourself. It's time to listen to your heart and to get out of whatever the situation is like pronto. Like it's time to leap out like the frog. <laughs> right, my beautiful Sagittarius. <laughs> this was a fun reading, okay? <laughs> but I know it's not that fun if you're in this situation, but it's the ending of a journey and you're moving into something new. It's something powerful. So check your rising your moon for other messages. Otherwise, um, come and see me next week. <laughs> I love you. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. We have wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. So if you didn't listen to my Instagram, even if you did, I'm going to repeat it. Knowledge comes from um, learning what you learned in school, what you learn in uh, out the outside world. Wisdom comes from you, comes from your heart, comes from your soul. Turning knowledge into wisdom means it's time to step into yourself. It's time to trust yourself, believe in yourself, love yourself to the hundredth degree. It's time to um, be this wolf, right? Wolves are very loyal. Uh, and when they get in a pack, they're also very strong and uh, very clever. It's time to um, really trust that inner voice of yours and know that you're in the right place at the right time. And if you're not in the right place, then you're it, you're quiet your mind and listen because this is who knows you the wisdom of your soul so let's see what your cards have to say for you we have the two of swords already we're starting with a decision and a choice that you need to make that is like boggling your mind <laughs> okay <laughs> the ace of swords interesting a new path a com new a clear communication getting clear on what it is that you want in your life I like that the strength card just could be a Leo energy the justice card which is a Libra energy interesting and then we have north which is expansion expansion could be related to Jupiter and Speaking your word, voice, voice could be related to justice as well, because voice, justice is about speaking your truth, speaking the what, what you need to say, and ace of swords as well, all these swords energies is that, is like putting your foot down, communicating very clearly, justice comes in, it could be relationship, but it also could be uh, finding a balance. It also could be a contracts, negotiation, promotions, raises, could be related to that, anything legal, anything like, um, yeah, like, uh, like a, like a new home, a real estate, a contract, you know, like an agreement, something that way. But here you are at two of swords making, like having a decision to make. And that's the only like kind of negative card here. It's not really a negative card, but it's like you're, not really seeing clearly with the two of swords and yet here the ace of swords it's just the one right before the two of swords is where you're like there's a new path opening up for you oh that makes sense so here you are at the beginning of the week uh, confused about what you need to do and now they're like just saying okay they're coming in to help you the spirits guide you you whatever it is it's like all right cut through the bullshit and look at everything 
very uh, look at it from a different lens look at it in a different perspective than what you usually do start listening into your wisdom like going into your heart instead of going into your mind because the mind will always put you in that loop will always like bring you back to the same old story all the time your heart will never ever do that never your heart is you is your soul it knows what you need to do so this is very interesting and I like it because the ace of swords is mental and it's like clear cut through that mental shit Get, like loosen the control of this mind of yours because all the assumptions you make all the like well what if you know this and the survival and fight and all you know this is not working for you it's get clear in your mind and find that strength and get get clear in your heart go into your heart for me the strength card the leo is heart card go into that like the heart of a lion roar what you need to be said roar what you need to them to hear the justice card standing in your truth standing and speaking you your truth saying what you need to say for finding that balance when if whether it's a relationship or whatever the choice or work or whatever it is in your life here it's like being getting really clear as to what you want in your life what you want in a certain situation and standing up in that pride I guess or standing up in that like lioness or lion um, bravery and courage and saying exactly what it is that you deserve what you want da, 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 da. and not fearing an unknown resolution or solution you know all of this and I'm, I'm going to talk always about this it's like fearing the unknown is what stops every single human being from making steps from uh, pursuing their life they're pursuing their dreams if you just went into your wisdom which is your heart you would know what to do you would know what what to what step to take next you would know because you would you're trusting yourself because trusting the unknown is a whole different ball game but it's a freaking amazing thing to do just do what do you got to lose you know trusting your heart is instantaneous it's like it tells you yep yeah, that's what you have to do you keep asking it's like yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. when your ego it gets steps in and starts telling you it's usually no you shouldn't do this or yeah yeah you can do this but you have to think about this and this and this and this and this and that or come on are you an idiot come on nah, you're stupid remember last time that's the ego it's a chatterbox your heart is not a chatterbox it's yes no yes it's like don't do it okay <laughs> so I'm just telling you now it's like some of you are um, are in a like a state of like panic for no reason because uh, something is coming your way almost and it's going to clearly tell you yes look at this you deserve this next step you are um, because you spoke up because you have voice here right speaking your word with the justice and this ace of swords all about your voice like every some of you are silent you're not expressing how you feel you're not expressing what you need to say to your husband your wife to your boss your friends your colleagues your family here is like and you have the strength here they're like we, we have we're like we have your back the wolves the lions we all have your back here like what are you waiting for it's time it's time that number one is time for that new beginning it's time for expansion maybe somebody you have to expand into the north <laughs> maybe it's the north of where you live perhaps or you need to go up north this is just literal but it doesn't have to be but there's this feeling of you uh, staying quiet for we don't know what reason Capricorn right you need it's time to get real you have a decision that I think um, Sagittarius had a two of swords 
So you, you'll have a decision to make and you have all the strength and support around you, whether it's your angels and guides or it's people around you. And it's just really up to you to speak it. Express how you feel. Be clear, be, be concise. Don't diddle-daddle, Capricorn. Just say what you want. Don't be, don't fear what the reaction is. Don't rear, fear the response. Don't fear the whatever. Don't fear it. When you fear it, it backfires every single time because you put it out into the ethers that you're fearing it. So the collective takes it on and says, oh yeah, if she's fearing it, then she's right or he's right. So it's going to come back at you. No fear. Trust your innate. Trust your heart. Trust that you're making the right decision. Because you know. Because here I, I only see greatness happening once you make that decision. I see expansion, right? Jupiter is all about um, wisdom and and like um, trying new and doing something outside of the box. And it's also about destiny, fate. So it's all here for you. You're just like having to express it and not keep it in anymore. Capricorn, you're stop. Like when I say talk about it, you don't have to talk like out of your ass. I'm telling you, talk like smart and clever and like do it short and sweet and in kindness. If, if you have talked to yourself, then exactly that, but also to others. Like, I feel like, like get, like, uh, even if you have to take that time to do it, write it out, uh, you know, figure it out on your own before you actually approach this person or whatever. But I feel like it needs to be a bit planned out by you because you're Capricorn and you like that anyways, right? But express yourself and stop hiding from it and stop um, getting upset uh, to, with other people. Communication is key in all of this. Find that strength inside you and go for it. Something great is waiting for you on the other end. That's all we have in Capricorn today beautiful but here is another message for you from spirit messages I feel like very much like you're stifling your voice for no reason at all you're holding back and you if you make that one decision it might change your whole the court whole course of your life Capricorn, please. Support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on. While others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. Support. There's someone in your life that you need to help you express yourself. If you need to, like, even if you need to do a presentation maybe and this is holding you back, then say that presentation to those people. So tell them what you're going to say to your boss. Tell them what you're going to say to your colleague, to your, your, your husband, to your partner, your, your wife, whatever. There's people around you. And there's also angelic support around you all the time. But there's also your soul that's around you. And I keep saying this. And it's there for you. For anything that you need so it's time to trust in, in you I can't say this enough though some of you are really holding back and I don't understand why so I, it's time to speak it <laughs> speak it <laughs> speak it because it, it it's going to like I said it's gonna open up a new world for you all right, my beautiful Capricorn, I love you. Check your rising, your moon, if this didn't resonate. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Love you, bye. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. We got Know Your Worth, Skunk Spirit. 
Five plus four is a nine. So nine is the end of a journey. I feel like some of you are in a situation in your life right now where um, you might be feeling at a loss. You might be feeling um, insecure, perhaps, about your next step. You might be feeling um, unworthy. Um, there's a lot of doubt. Did I already say that? I'm not sure if I said that. But knowing your worth is um, really looking at yourself and really um, loving yourself, but not in an Aquarius way. Because that's a little cocky way, but in a really profound way. Like holding up that mirror in front of you and really looking at yourself. Sometimes you should do it naked. That's the best time is to look at yourself and say, wow. And that's where you'll know your worth. Because we're all just a physical being and we all chose our physical vessel when we came into this lifetime. So your physical vessel is yours, by the way. But regardless of that, knowing your worth is not only a physical thing, it's an emotional thing, it's a mental thing. I feel like some of you are downing it out. You're having maybe a hard time making a decision about something and you're finding yourself kind of like looking at yourself in that mirror and not liking that mirror. So let's see what's going on with the skunk spirit. We have the three of swords. Wow. Speaking. This is heartbreak and grief. The knight, uh, the knave of swords is the page of swords. Believe. No. Yeah, it's the Page of Swords. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so that's like a, a a new a new beginning, a new thought process. Interesting with the Three of Swords. Okay, we have the World card, which is travel or starting a new journey, and the Three of Swords again. Gemini got this, the same card in the same thing. Interesting, people. It's a lot of heartbreak here. We have projection, cave. <laughs> projection is my favorite word this uh, reading. And solitariness, d desert. Three of swords, people. <laughs> it's like... You're heartbroken. That's why you are in self-doubt. That's why you are feeling down and out about yourself. <sighs> Maybe some of you are even like taking some time alone, doing alone time, like finding yourself in that cave of yours, going within, which is not a bad thing, by the way. Some of you are um, the world. Maybe you went traveling and you're brokenhearted. You you like like a relationship and you got brokenhearted. It doesn't have to be. That's like one of the things. But I feel like there's some of you here that is um, Some of you have tried to speak your mind. Some of you have tried to express yourself with people and you've been let down. You've been like pushed away. You've been like condescended, demeaned. And that is playing a role here. Uh, some of you are have a hard time expressing yourself and then you do and then it turns around on you, backfires on you. Some of you, maybe, in a, it, like, this is like relationship. Maybe someone you lost a, a really good friend of yours or you've broken up a, a friendship. There's just this feeling of loss. And um, and you're not knowing how to um, work around it, navigate it. You're having a hard time uh, dealing with this. <clears throat> The world card shows up as like a, could be an end of a journey, right? You're like, it's you're done with like crying over this person, uh, crying over your own uh, issues. Maybe you judge yourself. Maybe you fear 
uh, maybe you are triggered all the time maybe you um, resent other people like you have this like heaviness that you're carrying around with you but you're almost done with it you're like okay I, I need to find a way to express myself I need to find a way maybe I need to write it down in a journal maybe I need to talk to someone about it but there is this um, overwhelming feeling of anguish and sadness that's around you and I don't know why it doesn't have doesn't could be a relationship it could be like again like a family misalignment it could be friends it could be at school it could be at work it could be something that is but I feel like it could be you that's in your way as well you are um, you're heavily projecting off of somebody too maybe there's someone in your life that's annoying you or you're hating on someone and you don't like that about yourself but you're hating but you know that when you're hating on someone or it's your mirror and it's projection right so I really feel like this is a personal journey for you a personal struggle that's going on with you not right now my beautiful Aquarians and it's good it's fine and and it's the perfect time is to deal with it now because April May a lot of resurfacing is coming up for a lot of us and a lot of our challenges a lot of our weaknesses or um, the lower energies are coming to the surface and they're going to start to um, show up in our faces a lot more and the time is now to face them to um, forgive them and release them and you are being asked to do that you're being asked to um, to look at them very intently with like a clear mind um, even even in like um even in an, in an innocent kind of way like a page it could be also a young someone younger than you has hurt you pages are kids or people who are younger than you that could be a possibility but I feel like the pages showing up is like go back to um, when you were children right when you were children you were very uh, innocent and naive about things and um, nothing hurt you really nothing like unless you hit you put your finger on the fire then that hurts you but like otherwise it was like you saw life in a different way in a pure kind of way that's going back to knowing your worth again go back to that when you were light when you were like innocent and maybe face those issues that you have in front of you like that so how would I talk to myself as a as a 10 year old would I say no you're an idiot look at you you gained weight look at you you're like stupid no you wouldn't say that right talk to yourself like you would you would have if you were a child I like this kind of because it's really a lot of you are in a um, you're in this cave in your um, you're also taking on other people's um, issues like other people are like being triggered by you maybe and they're like uh, throwing it back in your face and you're actually swallow you're taking it in and it's hard for you like you're like okay it's not my problem and I need to release this there's that kind of feeling here and that's what's like making you feel like you need to be alone and alone time is good times too <laughs> especially when it's heavy energies out there so if you need to take alone time do it the, the cards are telling you it's really important for you right now to actually do your mirror work um, you are ending a journey of sadness and despair and anguish maybe you're breaking up with somebody and it feels like the end of the world that could be the best thing in the world for you or look at the mirror and ask yourself why you're breaking up with this person why are you not taking this next step why are you not loving yourself why are you not feeling worthy of yourself so important to look at that mirror of yours right now and face it now bury it away because the burying away is going to bring it back in a loop again it's going to come back even uh, bigger do this uh, work for yourself because a lot of you are carrying something really heavy with you 
you've been bringing it back over and over again the world card speaks to me it's like that end of the fool's journey but you're you keep um you keep like you uh, it comes up and then you you think you deal with it and you push it away but then it comes back in a loop again and you're like what the frick happened it's because you're really not facing it up facing up to it 100 percent. so go into that cave and face the mirror and if you have to do it in, in alone, do it alone. Most of, it, most of us have to do it alone because it's kind of um, heavy to do it with other people around you because already you're dealing with your own things. So do it alone. Like they have a cave here. I, I love the cave idea, but go anywhere you want. Stay in your room, figure this out. If you need to find help, support on this, then go out and reach, get support for this. But someone who is neutral, not someone who is like going to uh, weigh in and with their own opinions and belief systems. That's not what you need right now. So what a heavy freaking reading for all these signs, everybody. So Aquarius, you're in it as well. There is a feeling like there's like this really like surface uh, reading I have here is that there could be someone that you met on a trip and they broke your heart twice <laughs> so stay away from that person please if it broke your heart once they're gonna break your heart again that is the clear so that is something that i see here like quickly let's see what there is as well for you as a extra message from our spirits messages two cards okay I'm gonna read them you are not alone I love it we are here for you we never left through all the sadness and loneliness however you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you we are your family friends and guides you never walk alone we walk right beside you that's so beautiful nature this is the time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. This is beautiful, yes. I mean, the world has this beautiful tree over here. Also, this and this, like go out, spend that alone time in nature, go for those walks. You know what, Mother Nature is one. We are all one consciousness. Mother Nature is part of that consciousness. So go out and reach out and put your feet on the ground. Ask for answers. She will give them to you because we are all one. So if she's giving it to you, it means that someone in the collective is returning the favor and giving you the answer that you need. Or listen to your heart because that is as important. Know your worth, my beautiful Aquarians. Whatever's happening on the exterior, outside world, is happening regardless it has to happen maybe it's a karmic lesson but what's happening in here is you is up to you to like uh, filter through it and honor it honor it honor the anger the sadness whatever but let it flow right through you and as a like a child just let it flow through you forgive it and release it all right my beautiful Aquarians I love you We'll see you next week. Check your rising and your moon sign. If you this didn't resonate at all with you, uh, there's I mean you have like all the other planets you could check as well. So I love you. I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. We have humming spirit. Be here now. So be here now speaks of living in the present moment, doing what you need to do right now. Um, humming big, hummingbird spirits, humming bit, ugh, can you say it? Hummingbirds are known to like, uh, like, uh, flap their wings really, really, really fast, and you not hear them. They're like silent. So it's very interesting. It's like, um, almost like you're, some of you are in a rush to get somewhere, but it's not necessary. You don't need to be like going, very, you don't need to be going fast anywhere. You don't need to be like, 
rushing to the next opportunity going to the next person it's like can you just like enjoy the moment and relax and in the present moment that is that beautiful sign here let's see what's going on with you here we have the nine of cups amazing that's like happiness in a cup <laughs> in nine cups <laughs> and then we have the knight of cups which is Pisces. It's not funny. Oh, Nine of Cups too is Pisces. So you're you're showing up twice in your reading. Nine of Cups is new romance coming in, new love, new happiness, and the devil, <laughs> which is Capricorn. Interesting. And Two of Cups, which is Cancer, but soulmate energy. Interesting. When we have light, the sun showing up here, which is amazing. And we have growth, plants. Okay, people, this is a really amazing card, like reading, but even, even with the devil here. It's like um, something is like there's a big turnaround for you, Pisces, because we've been seeing some interesting energies as, as of late. And here you have so much goodness validation reward opportunity coming your way growth like money or abundance uh, there's a soulmate energy here um, definitely love showing up for you the devil energy is the only thing i could think about is could be a capricorn in your life that is your soulmate a twin flame energy that's coming in doesn't have to be again but it also could be uh, your shadow self, you see the shadow here, showing up because everything around these cards are positive and optimistic and yet you have this shadow self of you showing up and almost like wanting to, you're unconsciously ruining what's around you you're like uh bringing it down like you're in your your way of happiness because it's all here you have like uh financial abundance you have uh, reward recognition validation you have like true love coming in soulmate you have happiness fat in a family setting and friends like everything and yet the devil's in the center. The Capricorn energy is in the center saying, hmm, you don't really believe it that to be true. You don't, um, you don't trust the, the goodness that's around you. You don't trust the, like, um, you don't trust what spirit has put in front of you. You keep looking for the bad or the wrong in things. You keep um, looking for the weakness, weak points in the, all this greatness that is around you. You keep wanting to fly away from everything that is showing up in front of you and it's like being laid out in front of you, Pisces. You're being handed it over to you and yet there's a part of you that is like in your way you're standing in the way of happiness you're standing in the way of love and you're standing in the way of um, financial success abundance growth this is very interesting reading man or it could be a capricorn standing in your way <laughs> but i'm not gonna put it on the capricorns for this But it could be also be a Capricorn that is your soulmate or your twin flame or um, part of this happiness. Could it be? That's going to help you through this. That's going to help you grow uh, financially or uh, to make you the star that you are. Could also be that. But I really feel like the devil showing up as a form of you. You have all this light all around you. And you're just focusing in on the dark. 
and there's nothing wrong with the dark of course but you're focusing in on what um the fail let's say like you failed once in your life and you're focusing on that failure instead of looking around you and saying wow i got this i got that i got this i got that but i'm just looking at that because literally the knight of cups the knight of cups the nine of cups the sun growth like your business is on a boom your job is like something is growing in your life and the two of cups like I, I can't even like express to you what this is right now this is like freaking amazing it's like true love everything is here for you everything and then you have this little devil here which is your little shadow side this is your shadow self coming in and saying no trying to take away the thunder right saying no no no, no. This can't be true. This not, can't be happening to me. No, no, kind of thing. You're almost like um, you're taking away the thunder from yourself. Instead of being here now. Sorry, my ear. Instead of being present in this now moment, you're like, what if it's going to happen? What is going to happen? That's very Capricorn as well. Always looking in the future, always looking in the future, and never really looking in the present moment. Always looking like now. And this is what you need to do, Pisces. You have everything at your feet everything is go is there for you stop looking at what can happen what should happen why like you know you keep like um, focusing on a future that's not there yet the devil could feel like also some of you are drinking your way you're gambling your way you're um, like you're you're doing some like um illegal like illegal whatever that means no <laughs> some like um obsessive kind of behaviors and you don't realize what's around you like you're eating too much you're um judging yourself too much you're criticizing yourself too much that's devil energy it's like an excess of something you're shopping too much you're you're just like um making up for something but really you have it all you have it all laying out for you Pisces everything is working out for you and this showing up here is just speaks to me of self-sabotage you're sabotaging yourself and and I'm telling you it's here everything is laying out for you I mean everything that you've always wanted in your life is here for you and you're in your way so this is very important that you pay attention to this this week and notice where you sabotage yourself where you put yourself down where you are um, negating an experience it's time to overwrite the story that you put in your head it's time to overwrite that story Wow, Pisces, you have it all here, right here. It's time to be present. Stop living in the past. Stop living in the future. Stop. Start living in the now. What is a message for my beautiful Pisces? Okay, you got two. You got breathe. The breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's a connection between the inside and outside connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. Breath. Breathe, baby. <laughs> Breathe in all this beauty and ixnay on this thing, man. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself as or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Stop judging yourself. Stop judging others. Stop playing in something that doesn't belong here. Except be here now. Embrace the moment. Be present. Listen into your soul. Your soul speaks louder than you can imagine. It's time to listen in and 
breathe. breathe breath is so important nowadays breathe deeply because that's the only way you can get into your heart a good way to get into your heart is to put your hand on your heart and listen to your heartbeat wait for the heartbeat sometimes it takes a while to get to hear the heartbeat and when you hear the, our heartbeat say i call forth the golden rainbow of light of my underglow and pull it through my heart and then say this is what is shifting this is what is shifting this is what is shifting three times and you'll feel your heart knows what it's what you're asking from it and your heart will expand a lot more and and help you like live in the moment all right my beautiful pisces this is what i have for you you have you have it all it's all laid out for you my beautifuls uh stop getting in your way that's all i can say i love you i'll see you next week and check your rising and your moon if this didn't resonate